to my production cost video. Uh, I'm gonna use this table that's shown here. We're gonna use some equations. We're gonna figure out how to deal with measuring total costs and marginal costs and average costs and all kinds of stuff. So before we get to this table, I want to lay out some groundwork here. Uh, I got a few equations for you. One, yeah, the total cost of production is equal to the fixed cost plus the variable cost. So total cost, well, that's the total cost. I'm not going to try to define it. Let me separate it into two kinds of costs. Fixed costs never change. No matter what quantity we produce, fixed costs are unchanging. Uh, you can imagine being locked into a lease. You have to pay your rent every month. Or there might be a certain fee to keep your business open or something, something that happens no matter whether, no matter how much stuff you actually produce. And there's a variable cost, which is based on the quantity you produce. It's zero if you do zero and it's more if you don't, if you do more. So there's one of our equations. The next equation is about marginal cost, which I showed you this in the last video. It's the change in total cost, I need to simplify that. It's just the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. It measures how fast cost changes as I add additional units of production. If I want to add a second or third or fourth unit, the marginal cost will tell me how much extra cost do I incur by making the second unit or the third unit or the fourth unit. And we have three that are basically the same thing as each other. The average total cost is equal to total cost divided by Q. The average variable cost is equal to the variable cost divided by Q. And the average fixed cost is equal to the fixed cost divided by Q. Basically for those averages, whatever cost you're averaging, divide it by its Q and you've got the average. All right, so those are our equations. These are things that I lay out in this lecture and it's all you need to fill out this table. So I'm just gonna walk you through an example of how to fill this thing out. If you're wanting to practice, pause now and try to do it yourself. Otherwise, let me help you out. So what do we know so far? I know that total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. And I also know that total cost here is 400. But what about these? I don't know. Wait a minute. Variable cost depends on Q. And when Q is zero, variable cost is also zero. Which that means that this equation here, total cost equals fixed cost plus variable cost. So let's see, that's 400 equals fixed cost plus zero. So fixed cost has to be 400. All right, we can do that one. All right, we're done with the first row. Woo! Next, we had a $120 variable cost. Uh, what's our fixed cost? Wait, I know, the fixed cost, it doesn't change no matter what the Q is. So it's just 400 all the way down on that column. Sweet. Based on that information, I can already fill in two more total cost numbers. I can fill in this one, because fixed cost plus variable cost, 400 plus 120 is 520. And I can also fill in this one, because 400 plus 310 is 710. Let's worry about this row, this first empty row of all these side ones. Marginal cost is change in total cost over change in quantity. So marginal cost when the quantity is one is equal to the change in total cost. See, change, how much the total cost change, right? 520 minus 400 divided by the change in quantity. Well, that's just one. So that's going to be equal to 120. The second you, this first thing that we're producing added $120 to our cost. Average fixed cost is fixed cost divided by quantity. So 400 divided by one, 400. Average variable cost is variable cost divided by quantity. 120 divided by one is 120. Average total cost, 520 divided by one is 520. By the way, 
because total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost, average total cost will always equal average fixed cost plus average variable cost. Uh, that's just because they're all just, that's just dividing both sides of the equation by Q. Anyway, so that'll hold too. Uh, this next one might be kind of tricky. My average total cost is 310. ETC is equal to 310. That's total cost divided by Q equals 310. Well, I know what my Q is. My Q is 2. So I can rearrange this. Total cost equals 310 times 2 is equal to 620. There's my total cost. Now from that, I can use my total cost equals fixed cost plus variable cost equation and say 620 is equal to 400 plus VC. I solve for that and I'll get a variable cost of 220. I can also solve for my marginal cost here. Total cost goes up by 100. 620 divided by Sorry, 620 minus 520 is 100. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. So marginal cost is 100 here. Let's see, for the averages, 400 over 2 is 200. Uh, 220 divided by 2 is 110. All right, we got two rows done. Booyah. All right, let's get our next marginal cost. Total cost rises by 90. Quantity rises by 1. 90 over 1 is 90. Wow, we're already done with that one. Average fixed cost, 400 divided by 3 is 133 and change. Average variable cost, 310 divided by 3 is 103 and change. Average total cost is 710 divided by 3 is going to be... 236.6s. All right, these next two are kind of tricky because all I give you is a marginal cost. Let's see, marginal cost is change in total cost over change in quantity. So let's just start filling in values. I know that my marginal cost is 110. I don't know my change in total cost. That's what I'm solving for. But I know my change in quantity is just one. That means my marginal cost, my change in total cost is 110. So I take my old total cost and I change it by 110. 710 plus 110 is 820. So I calculated the change in total cost and then I added it to the old cost. Marginal cost is about how much things are changing, so you need a base value to find out the new value. And then I can, let's see, total cost equals a 400 plus variable cost. So that means that your variable cost must be 420. And then I can solve for all these averages. 400 over 4 is 100. 420 over 4 is 105. 820 over 4 is 205, and we're done with that one. Woo, we're almost there, guys. All right, see if you can do the next one. Pause and work ahead of me. And if you didn't pause, whatever, I'm moving on. Uh, marginal cost is 140, meaning we've added 140 to our total cost. 820 plus 140 is 960. Solve for variable cost using our first equation. I get that variable cost is 560, which means my average fixed cost now is 400 divided by 5 is 80. Average variable cost, 560 divided by 5, is going to be 112. And then average total cost is 192. So there's your little crash course of production costs for your intro econ class. And I showed you how to fill out a table from several different angles. I hope it was helpful to you. If not, too bad. But thanks for watching anyway.
Good luck, you guys, and happy econing.